Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to swap the back and recent apps buttons on your Nexus 6P. Now, if you own multiple Android devices and one of them is a Samsung, you've probably noticed how the button placement can be different. For most phones and tablets, it's back, then home, then the recent apps button from left to right. But some have that backwards, which means that if you switch between your phone and your tablet a lot, you'll end up pressing the wrong buttons quite a bit. Well, it's not possible to rearrange physical buttons like the one on Samsung's backwards devices, but luckily your Nexus 6P has on-screen buttons, which means they can be flipped around with a software mod. This would also be very useful if you're left-handed, or if you just don't like the way they're currently ordered. But I've got two methods for you here. The first uses a flashable zip, which means you'll need a custom recovery, but you don't necessarily have to be rooted. Then the second method uses Gravity Box and it's a bit easier, but for that one, you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed. As for the first method though, start by heading to my full tutorial where you'll find a download link for the flashable zip that'll swap your back and recent apps keys. Then once you have that file saved to your device, simply boot your phone into custom recovery. Now I always say this, but it's particularly important here. Before you flash anything in custom recovery, be sure to make a full Nandroid backup. That way, if anything goes wrong, or if you just want to switch back, you can restore the backup to put everything back to normal again. But with that out of the way, go ahead and tap the Install button. From here, select the flashable zip that you downloaded from my full tutorial, then swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install it. When that's finished, tap the Reboot System button, and when you get back up, your Back and Recent Apps buttons will switch places. But like I said, the second option is a bit easier. As long as you're rooted with the exposed framework install, all you have to do is install a module called Gravity Box, then activate and reboot. Once you've taken care of that, go ahead and open Gravity Box, then head to the Navigation Bar Tweaks entry. From here, toggle the switch at the top of the screen to enable changes to your navigation bar, and note that if this is your first time enabling this option, you'll have to reboot before you'll see any changes. But with that one enabled, just tick the box next to Swap Back and Recent Keys, then you'll be all set to go. Now I already had navigation bar tweaks enabled, so you can see that the button switch places immediately. But again, if this is your first time doing this, you'll have to reboot. Really though, it's a fairly simple tweak, but it can make switching between devices a lot less frustrating. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.